Thank you for viewing my virtual poster. We are interested in understanding more about the genetic and environmental underpinnings of music engagement and their potential protective role in substance use problems. Music engagement is associated with increased well-being and social connectedness, as well as an array of language and cognitive abilities, especially in early life. However, studies have not systematically examined music mental health associations, including substance use, and whether they may be explained by genetic predispositions. We examined data from almost 1,700 adolescents from the Cat's Life Project. This included about 200 pairs each of identical twins, fraternal twins, biological siblings, and adoptive siblings, though only the twin data was examined in the analyses involving substance use. At age 12, participant answered three to four questions each about musical instrument, singing, and dance engagement. At age 16, we assessed broad substance use behaviors in three ways, collapsing across responses to 15 substance categories. Our final bin-dependent measures included the number of substances ever tried, the frequency of substance use in the past six months, and the number of DSM-4 dependence or abuse symptoms endorsed per substance that was used to criterion. The genetic model fit the data very well and demonstrated moderate to high heritability across music engagement phenotypes. Interestingly, instrument engagement was not highly correlated with singing or dance engagement, but which were strongly genetically correlated with each other. Musical instrument engagement was also the only facet of music engagement systematically associated with substance use four years later, with small but significant negative correlations with the number of substances ever tried and the frequency of substance use at age 16. These correlations appeared to be driven by genetic influences. However, the genetic environmental correlations were all non-significant, most likely due to lower power for these relatively small effects. For frequency of use only, the genetic and shared environmental paths could not be simultaneously dropped suggesting these results are due to a family effect. It's just unclear if it's a genetic, a family music environment, or both that's being passed down. In summary, this work demonstrates that engaging with musical instruments in early adolescence may be protective over later substance use behaviors. However, it will be important to understand whether these effects are driven by genetic or shared environmental effects, especially if these work is used to um, develop interventions. In particular, I'd like to examine whether these effects are even stronger for those individuals with high genetic risk for substance use disorders who would benefit the most from an intervention. Finally, it's worth noting that these findings appear to be specific to musical instrument engagement rather than singing or dancing and relative and relate to early aspects of substance, the substance use trajectory, that is initiation rather than abuse. This work is consistent with other recent work on the sample, suggesting only instrument engagement is associated with verbal cognitive abilities, both cross-sectionally and longitudinally, though it's possible these associations may differ in adulthood. Thank you.